welcome back to my channel. I just want wanted to give everyone an update on how I've been doing since my surgery, my tubal reversal surgery. So far, things have pretty much been going pretty smoothly besides the, um, the healing process just a little bit. Um, since the surgery, I have been somewhat um, trying to take it easy, not lifting anything heavy, like the doctor said. I have been walking around and things like that, but not anything too crazy. And um, I still have managed to have issues with the healing process of the incision because I have not so very good skin in that area. Prior to the tubal reversal, I've had several... Um, abdominal surgeries before that surgery so I was left with a lot of scar tissue and um, basically when you have that much scar tissue and the and they make another incision close to the scar tissue then I guess your skin doesn't like healing as well as it did when you had virgin skin so that's where I'm at uh, <clears throat> today marks two weeks and one day post-op since the surgery. I had my surgery on January 28th and today is February 12th. So I had my surgery done by Dr. Levine in Louisville, Kentucky and him and his staff were just phenomenal on the day of surgery. Um, Dr. Levine has been extremely responsive and um, very good at replying to all of my emails in regards to my healing issues and things like that. Um, I guess I've just really been having an issue with um, my incision has been just kind of oozing just um some normal fluids from what the doctor said. He said it's not anything that's um, abnormal or um, anything like that, I guess. Who knows? For some reason, my incision doesn't want to completely close as of just yet, so I've got some little problem areas that it's seeping from. But it's nothing um, infection-like. It's just a uh, kind of a bloody kind of fluid that's coming out of there. So that's where I'm at. I wanted to show you guys the incision as well before I signed off of this video. So I'm going to show you that before I end this video. Um, as of right now, me and my husband are not going to try for a child. We are going to wait, um, I don't know, maybe a year, two years, maybe three. Um, the reason why we had the surgery was because of the post-tubal ligation syndrome that I was dealing with, with migraines and all those crazy symptoms that I was having. And so far, so good. I haven't had not one migraine since the surgery. And that was um, two weeks, two weeks and a day ago. So fingers crossed that it stays that way. Anyway, I didn't want to make this video super long. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up about what was going on with my incision and kind of how I was feeling. Um, I will say that the third day post-op from the surgery, I was feeling absolutely terrible. It was by far the worst day. And then it kind of sort of got easier since then. Um, the only thing that I'm dealing with now is more so like sneezing god forbid i need to sneeze because it's super painful and um coughing those kind of things are really really still painful it's still really hard to kind of get out of bed on my own i kind of have to roll over on my side and um things like that like bending over still is pretty painful um, I'm trying to think of what else. I haven't been able to wear jeans yet. Um, 
because jeans are just too painful to wear. Like, I don't know why. I even purchased some larger size jeans that were high-waisted that wouldn't press on my incision because my incision is low. But even those hurt. So I've been living in yoga pants for two weeks now. And I'm quite ready to be back in jeans. So who knows when I'll be able to comfortably wear jeans again. Um, what else? Um, I think that's it. Um, like I said, Dr. Levine and his staff is absolutely amazing. They really made my mind at ease. Um, the day of surgery, before surgery, and things like that. They really, really were very patient and just amazing, amazing people. Uh, they really took their time explaining things, and it was just an awesome experience um, at the hospital with his staff and, and himself and um, right after the surgery as well. And then the next morning, he came and visited me at the hotel, which was pretty awesome. And, um, you know, he explained to me how much I had left on my left side and how much I had left on my right side, which I went over all that on, um, the last video I made. But all in all, Dr. Levine is just amazing. So if you're debating on which doctor to go with, I highly recommend him for your tubal reversal surgery because he's just awesome. I mean, I literally can send him an email right now, and I think he would probably call me within a few minutes. It's pretty crazy. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the incision, and then I'm going to sign off. Um, if you guys have any questions about the surgery or um, any questions at all, feel free to comment below, and I will respond to them as soon as I can. Don't forget to um, also like and subscribe to my video. Uh, before I sign off again, I'm gonna show you guys the incision. So here we go. It's pretty low. So I'm going to try once again to not flash you. So there it is basically right there in the middle is where I'm talking about where it's open so so far it's healed pretty well don't know if I told you guys that um, by the way I had a allergic reaction to the steri strips adhesive that they use so that's why my skin is kind of discolored around the incision because it basically gives you a it can give you a chemical burn if you're allergic to the adhesive, in which I was. So I had to take off my Steri strips. I think it was five days post-op. So, but I didn't have any issues with taking them off or um, any of that. So that was good. But anyway, I will let you guys go. Again, remember to like and subscribe to my video. And if you guys have questions, feel free to comment below. Bye guys.